I guess if we want to go there, in having those conversations and the person you're speaking with says things like, black women always do this or black men do that. Like, even hearing it feels kind of cringy to me, <laughs> like very unsettling, like black women, like all of us. Really? Some? Sure. Sure. But not, not all of us. Like, how do you respond? Okay, so I'm human, depending on what day you caught me. Um, but right. for the most part, I, it always stings a little bit, even if I can't relate, even mm -hmm. if I know that I've known women like that. And it's simply because of that, because I feel like you're not talking about me, but because of how I have to navigate the world and I have to, I feel like I have to represent all of us. It does sting a little bit. It's like, dang, but I, I take mm -hmm. it in because I know it's not me, but that's why I try to. When I say things to me, I try to say some in front of it because that does cushion that. So you don't, I didn't say all, mm -hmm. I didn't just say men. So you don't have to feel like you're grouped in that, right? Because whenever you make a blanket yeah. statement, if I fit in that blanket, you technically are talking about me. But when you put mm -hmm. that little some, even um, if you said right. average, most times mm -hmm. that still leaves like, I don't have to fall under there. So I can still be the special snowflake. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, so that's kind of how I respond. But, but I will say, well, that's not all women. Or I may say something like, dang, I'm sorry. That's, that's, that's what you run into so much. Like I try to, because I need them to also understand. Cause I don't think people realize what it sounds like until you're the one on the other side listening. And so I feel like we all have yeah. done it. Like you say things blanketly and not realizing that when you are the person who hears the statement, it don't feel good. Yeah. And even as a person saying it, like when I was talking about the self-limiting belief, like then you're going to keep calling that into your life. Like all black women do this or you know how black women do. Then, okay, then clearly those are the type of women you're attracting. What does that say about you? Like, right, can we go there? Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes... Depend oh, that's terrible. Depending on who it is, who's saying it, I might get a little defensive. Like, he ain't talking about me, but he's talking about sis, right? Mm -hmm. So I have something to say about that, and that's not cool. Yes. I didn't get that side. It, it is, and so I think that some of that is the problem, is that the person who's trying to hold you accountable is the opposite of you. And I think that sometimes mm -hmm. it's kind of like being disciplined. You need to be disciplined at home. And so sometimes I feel like, not all the time. I'm not saying a man can't redirect you or a woman can't make a suggestion, but I feel like sometimes men need to hold men accountable and women need to hold women accountable because sometimes like it that. feels different. Yeah. It may feel a little less attacking. Mm -hmm. So it's like, like you said, like you like, you ain't talking about me, but you talking about sis. So now I got to say something. But in that same <laughs> statement, I have to be yeah. willing to be like, sis, what are you doing? <laughs> Right. And so I don't right. think every woman is able to do both. I think it's easier because if I if I cast light on what you're doing as a woman, mm -hmm. that's a reflection. And so then I might start seeing stuff that I'm doing and maybe I don't want to deal with that. So I don't want to hold accountability, which is why I'm not holding mm -hmm. you accountable because I don't mm -hmm. want that reflected back on me. Right. And I ain't trying to change my stuff. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think that we can do better um, with that in general, but I think that that would definitely help us as people mm -hmm. in building any type of relationships. Like other cultures do stick together, you know, a little bit more outwardly. That is true. Outwardly, I will say that. Like, because I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So outwardly, I will say that. Um, but yeah, so I've Wait, been doing what? well with hearing those statements over the last week. Whew, and I have been digesting those <laughs> very like nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh my goodness. My sister was telling me about a guy that she was talking to. And like, I, every time he would say stuff like that, her response is always like, who hurt you? And why haven't you healed from that yet? Or what are you doing to heal? She said, because I need you to put a percentage on the women that you're talking about, because I know I don't fit in that category. So then she was like, okay, so you're saying 80% of the black women you've dealt with have done this thing mm -hmm. and the rest of us are doing something different. She said, because I don't want to keep hearing this. And I was like, okay, girl, mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. No, I do. And that's, but the who hurt you, 
I agree. I always think that who hurt these people? Yeah. And I know somebody did. Right. It could have been your mama. Mm-hmm. It could have been grandma. Mm-hmm. It didn't have to be the girl you was dating, but I just do right. wonder that. And so I like that. And when she says, when she asked that question about the percentage, because I always ask the yeah. question, well, Excuse me. what did they all have in common? Like, what else did they have in common <laughs> that you ignored that maybe was a sign of that? Because sometimes we do continue to attract the same type of person. And so, like you said, what is that speaking about me? About me. Mm-hmm. Or am I attracting mm-hmm. the same kind of person because yeah. I haven't learned how to navigate that space? Or that. Or that. Yeah. You mentioned it could be your mom. Or, like, if it's a, a woman, like, right? it could be the daddy issue type things. And I think we can get so caught up in just blaming what's present, like partnership, and not want to touch mommy and daddy. Because how dare we? Like, those are my parents. I can't do that. Mm-hmm. I can say, mom, what's up? I'm trying to do better with profanity, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm supposed <laughs> to be like, you. <laughs> are you? Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> like, you can't be like, oh, yeah, mom, you messed me over when I was young, and now I have these type of relationships with women. I'm just going to blame all the black women. I'm not going to blame my mom and her role in that for me. So like with the, um, so like men, you know, it's not going to say, oh yeah, I'm going to attach this to my mom because I don't want to blame mom. I just want to blame all the black women that I've been in relationships with because mom is special. And with the girl, no, it's all these crappy men that I've dated. That's why I'm like this. Mm-hmm. Not my daddy issues absent who was inconsistent who didn't have boundaries and these are the exact type of men that i invite into my life yes exactly and and so that's now you've developed this um schema that's the word schema oh come on therapist (laughs) word (laughs) you've developed a schema that this is what things look like and so you go out and pick the Mm -hmm. very thing you don't want but you say you don't want because you don't reflect on that but that's the reality like if you are a young man and you saw your your mother do nothing but use men you're going to think that's just what women do if you are a woman who's dated men who don't support you don't do anything for you inconsistently in and out word is if that's how your daddy was i should say you when you Mm -hmm. when you date a man like that it's not that you want it i'm gonna i'm gonna give y'all some cushion on that it's not that you want it but you have experienced only that for the most part during the beginning of your life and so you think it's normal so that's where you get blanket Mm -hmm. statements of that's what women do that's what men do that's what your daddy did that's what your mama did absolutely (laughs) but that's not what everybody Mm -hmm. is but when you see those behaviors in somebody you don't run because that's all you've seen that's what you have acknowledged so yeah, so I feel like I agree with her. Who hurt you? <laughs> That's the question to everybody. Who hurt you? And I would encourage people to reflect yeah. on that before you start getting out into relationships. Because I also feel like people, like we talked about before, you want this partner, but that's not the partner that you, you don't live your life for that partner. That's what I'm going to say. You don't live your life for that type of partner. I forgot we talked about that. We did. And it's fair. It's staying. <laughs> right? Um... But yeah, so I think that as we go through this journey, I'm super excited to uh, have these conversations and talk about different things. So we always want to encourage your listeners out there, Chuck Peeps, anything in particular you want to hear us talk about um, when we have the two guys on there, anything that's bothering you, we're still accepting letters and things like that. Also, in regards to whatever's happening in your life. Um, (laughs) but yeah so that's kind of where I'm at so in my journey of accountability I feel like I um, I feel like I do hold my friends accountable as a woman do you feel like you hold your friends accountable and if not like is it just certain ones you don't or kind of like what prevents you if you Mm -hmm. don't hmm you know if I'm being honest I don't think I I'm thinking of like communicating with friends consistently to where that would come up. Like we talk pretty often and we have catch up moments and you'd be like, wait, hold on. Like, yeah, (laughs) but I can't think of, I mean, I got people that I'm cool with that I talk to. I'm trying to be very vague here. (laughs) 
<laughs> and people who are receptive okay. to some comments. And then some is like, I'm not even going there because for why? And yeah. That's interesting. So I don't think the opportunity has presented. Uh huh. I don't think the opportunity has presented itself recently to do so. And I don't know if I care enough to do it. Fair. Ooh, that's fair. But I want to point out, like, yeah. I wonder if that's one of the reasons people don't hold their friends accountable is because as we talk, as, as you talk about the opposite sex not being able to hold themselves accountable, you too experience the same sex not wanting to, so you don't even push it with your own friends. Like, why well, sometimes men don't say nothing to other men, but it's kind of like, do you say something anyway? Or do you just let the person be? Like, at what point do you reach the level of, okay, no, this is just how Stacy, my favorite name, this is just how Stacy is. But even though I think Stacy should stop, nah, I think she should stop. I feel like I could make a comment. I just don't because I don't think she's going to change. Oh, oh, with Stacy, oh, all the time. All the time with Stacy. She get on my nerves. I get frustrated. I ain't going to lie. But with Stacy, we can go back and forth. And then I'll be like, all right, girl, let's try again tomorrow. Or next week. Or when I come back up there and visit. <laughs> right? Stacy is no problem. But outside of that, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, is it worth the energy? I think sometimes. I, I Probably not. If I consider you my friend, and depending on what it is, yes. I feel like I hold, I will, I, my friends hold me accountable. And I hold my friends accountable. But I think that I don't hold everybody accountable in the same areas or spaces. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I think the thing that Maybe decides that. that for me would be sometimes people are aware of their behavior and they're fine with it. Meaning they will literally be like, girl, I'm toxic. And I'm like, okay, as long as you know, sis, and I'm as long as you know, then there's nothing to they talk about because you that. do know that. That is your accountability. Oh, you just God. won't change they it. Said that. Yes. And I'm okay huh. with that. That friend, I'm not. When you do something, we just look at you and I'm like, you know, you're toxic. But yep, and that's just what it is. There's but other friends, it's like they may not actually see it as that. And then we break it down, have a conversation, mm -hmm. like, okay, because they really didn't see it like that. So different friends get different pieces or responses from me. Then, then that's the frustrating piece with Stacy. She can own being toxic, but then also talk about wanting more. But you're not changing the behavior. You're still doing the same stuff. So why are we still talking about it? Like it's that that frustrates me. I'm like, girl, no, I don't, I don't have it today. I don't have it. Yes, I get it. I have those. And then too. there's, then there's the people who are on, in a different phase of their life, and to to have the conversation, it just seems pointless. <laughs> it's gonna fall on deaf ears. <laughs> it just seems pointless because you was right, you was upset, heartbroken, disappointed, whatever, whatever. <laughs> And that's what it is, and that's fine. I will now respond accordingly. Okay, I got you. I think that's, I think that's the position I take. This is where you're at, cool, I'll adjust my response to you. And there may be little to no reaction or communication at all, or things will just be very distant and we won't be like it was. Well, you know, hold me I accountable, because when I say something, the first thing I ask is, well, you think I'm crazy? Did I do, do you think I'm wrong? I ask that question, because I want to know. <laughs> you do? You do. <laughs> Because I feel like mm -mm. I don't know, right? Because I'm I'm still only seeing it from my perspective, and I can own that. So it's like I'm going to ask somebody else, and I will repeat it verbatim so that I don't leave nothing out. I don't want to. I don't try to make myself look good. I will be like, and I said this, yeah. Because I can't get an honest response from you if I'm not honest either. And I think that's the honest. other part that prevents mm -hmm. people sometimes from being held accountable. You're not being honest. You ain't even honest with your therapist, yeah. but that's a different topic. Um, you're not honest, so. Yeah. Honesty equals growth, not lying. You can't grow from lying. Mm -hmm. You can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not realistically. You probably can make some advances. Yes. But you can't grow. Yes, that's the word. That's it. Advancement. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm going to say, mm. <laughs> Once the truth comes out, that's all I'm saying. So I just want you to know to hold me accountable. And uh, I think we all should do better with holding each other accountable. Yeah. In a certain space. I agree. I'm not saying force yourself on anybody but that's the only way you need some accountability yeah I'm here for it so you gonna give accountability to people 
<laughs> Look at Joe. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know. It's okay if you don't want to. I don't, I don't know if I want to invest the energy. That's fair. Because mm -hmm. it's like your energy would be wasted. Or is it just you don't want to? I feel like it'd be wasted. I feel like, you know how people say um, to determine whether or not the time or the effort to make the change is worth the investment? Yes. That, that's what it is for me. You don't think it's worth the investment? I don't think so. I don't think so. Because for whatever to have occurred or for whatever we need to have a conversation about, it shouldn't... No. <laughs> no. I feel like there's some trauma attached a no. to that lack of the ROI, return of investment is low for you Girl, in some situation. It is. It is. About to be very surface level, basic. Cool. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. And I'm okay with that. That is fair. Mm -hmm. I am the longest the <laughs> What is wrong with you? Okay. I'm trying to stay on task, but I have like I feel like I have different people talking to me on my shoulders and I have to pick which one I'm gonna to feel to my response. Oh, through. okay. Well that's what's happening right now. I would love to hear right. the other side. The one over here just going off. I wanna hear like, that yeah. side. That's the side no. I wanna hear. I don't wanna hear this other we heard her already. I'm trying to go into this new year as a Okay, but it's not the new person. year yet. So um uh, what did the other side say? <laughs> no, the other side is like fuck them people. <laughs> See? This is what this is who you wanted. But I don't wanna be like that no more. <laughs> Ooh, I feel sorry. You know, I hope to never be on your uh that side because that is horrible. You won't. You wanna know why? Because you hold me accountable. And we do good together. Okay, good. So we, yeah, I'm safe. Care. I have been marked <laughs> safe from Bree's other side. <laughs> okay, but that's fair. But we can see how we get there. I just thought that was interesting. Like, you don't even want to hold her, anybody account, a lot of women. So it's like, maybe men aren't wrong in that statement that they can't take it. Hmm. I think doing the internal, whatever, the internal recognition, like, is it going to be worth my time and investment to work through this thing with this person or to have this conversation or to bring up this issue or concern for the betterment of us if we have to take on the us tag versus just being our own selves? Maybe. If the answer is yes, then sure. If the answer is no, then let it go. On to the next person. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Um, I, I agree with you. I do. But I've been told that I make everything so simple when it's not. And I just say... Oh, I've heard that. But it is. I say, but it, it can, can be. be. And the okay. fact that you thrive, right, you know? that's why you're, because you want to live in the fact that everything isn't complex. Some things just are and just aren't. And I think life would be easier mm -hmm. for people if they accepted that part. Like some mm -hmm. things, we make things complex because we feel like it's supposed to be when it doesn't have to be. And when things are too simple, mm -hmm. we all get scared. We like, got that suspicious right. eye. That's like my favorite gift with the little chicken, but I don't know. <laughs> do it on iMessage all the time <laughs> but I think that that's really what it is because how many times have you met somebody you're like this is going too easy like the we literally live in this space that we think if things are not a challenge then something's wrong and so when I say I don't feel like I live life simple but I just don't make every moment complex because I don't have enough energy for that yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so absolutely I've been victim to that and I think it takes a conscious effort to change that mindset like things can be easy, things can be smooth, and that's just how they are. Or maybe you've worked to call in this this lifestyle, this atmosphere, and that's okay too. Mm, that is it. So hopefully you guys will um, tune in next week. We do have relationship stuff. We have books. We have different things that will be coming up. Yeah, um, books, y'all. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, we're going to try to do back a book a quarter, like a book a quarter. How long is that? Yeah, it's like one every three months. How long is that? Oh, I have a few, but I didn't. See, okay. that's one a quarter. <laughs> are we reading together? Huh? Or I'm just, are we reading together? Yeah. Or I'm yeah, just we're going to share them.
Yes, okay. with the audience. <laughs> I don't know why Bree is acting up today, but yes, we got books. We still are taking in the letters. I was still um, before we hit record. And hold on to your accountability and be ready, like I said, to send in anything. I also, we I don't have a quote, but this thought popped in my mind. Don't do that. You always act like I'm about to say the rudest thing in the room, but I'm not. But it's in reference to um, when you look at me, it really throws me off. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel like I am about to say something wrong, and I really don't be. It don't be not wrong. It just be completely left field. We choosing violent, you know. <laughs> it is not. Okay. So I was gonna say mm-hmm. not. It's not about accountability, but so much as like the challenge of why we talked about why some people don't want to hold accountability and mm. why we don't hold others accountable is just that challenge of self-work sometimes and so i wanted to say that life is not hard and choices are not hard your perspective is Ooh, can you say that again life is not hard choices are not hard Mm -hmm. your perspective is i like that i like that see we ain't need no quote we'll see you in the room peace out chuck peeps